Have you ever wished for an assistant that just tells you what to do but actually does the work for you? An assistant that replies to your emails, messages, your leads, books, meeting for you, summarizes your calls and even follow-ups with the client automatically. How would it look like? That's not a dream anymore. That's what AI agents do nowadays. In this video, you are going to learn everything. I would say that, you know, agentic era has actually spurred a lot. So I'm trying to touch upon those points where you will learn everything you need to know about AI agents, what they are, how they actually work, how they're different from tools like ChatGPT or Zapier, and how you can actually start building and even earning from them starting from today. So probably I'm sure you would be excited now. And let's start with literally a basic one because you know the fundamentals are something which are the foundation of any learning and in the agentic era i would say that you know you need to know everything about what is an ai agent how does it look like how does it behave so i will start with ai agent which is a smart digital assistant that can take actions on your behalf it doesn't just respond it thinks it plans and actually execute tasks for you so probably you might be thinking that, okay, how exactly it's going to work for me? Is it like chat GPT? No, it's, it's unlike chat GPT. It's chat GPT, which answers your questions and waits for your next input. An AI agent can work independently. It can check your calendar. It can send reminders, follow up with the leads, and even write and send cold emails on your behalf and talk to your CRM directly for intelligence. So again, I would like to say that you would still say, is it Zapier? Is it like, which follows a kind of a fixed sequence steps that you have set up in advance? AI agent can make decisions in real time. They are dynamic, they are flexible, they are adaptive. So there is a knowledge, there is a brain inside it. And unlike simple bots that follow scripts, an AI agent learn from their environment. They remember the past actions, they adapt to the changes and improve their performance over time. So probably what you're trying to do here is that you, you, you're now coming closer to that, you know, it is, an, it is an agent that is your digital teammate. So it's not a Zapier, it's not a chat GPT, it's your digital teammate, someone who understands the goal and the figures out how to get there, even if things, things change along the way. So, you know, you want your digital teammate to actually think. Now let's break down what makes an AI agent work, what's going behind the scenes. So you have to understand that, okay, if you're starting this agentic journey or you're getting into AI agents work for you, whether you're a builder or you're going to use them, you need to understand what components. So first we have a memory component. This includes a short term memory to keep track of the current task and the long term memory to remember user preferences past conversations and outcomes. So, so probably this becomes the first element that I'm trying to explain you. So you have a memory element, then comes the goal or the objective part. So every agent needs a purpose. So you hire a person, for example, you hire an EA to book meetings, reply to your emails. So you, you have to set a goal that, okay, you have to summarize my Zoom calls or you have to send handle my social media. So you need to understand that the, we need to have an autonomy loop, right? So this is the uh, agent's ability to think, plan, act, and reflect. It doesn't just follow the instruction. It's a reason about the next best step. So the agent also needs an access to tools because now you're saying that it's a digital teammate, so you have to expose. So exposure happens through APIs. So whether you're using Gmail or Slack databases or browser or third-party apps or Notion or HubSpot or, or many more components, you need to provide those accesses and, and that is how the setup happens. It uses the knowledge base. This is this might be some documents. You have some ready uh, log of support tickets if it's a customer agent. Anything that, that helps in making the informed decision that has a reference to it. And finally, it has to have an environment because you know like you have a team worker working in your office so this the digital world interacts in an environment and that environment is something which is the agentic plat platform so you have like email inbox or crm all these things connected so when you put all of these pieces together you get something much smarter and more useful than a chatbot 
you get a real digital assistant that's capable of getting things done so so you have to make sure that you know your whole piece of things the fundamental blocks that i said now that should be in place and now let's let's take how real people use ai agents today especially you know we have freelancers creators solopreneurs so these are the people who are using these agents and imagine an agent that handles your instagram dms or it chats with your prospect answers common questions and and books a call when you you when you are like looking to book a call with someone that that's there in your database or right so this is this is something which are some of the use cases think of like a cold outreach agent which is going to find leads send emails wait for replies follow with multiple times and notifies you when someone responds so so you have a proper inside sales agent who is working even go better or a client onboarding agent that automatically sends you know a welcome mail shares a intake form set up a notion folder and updates your project on board so these are some of the use cases that will keep your mind open and and you will be able to say that okay uh, how about a meeting summary agent a lot of you have been seeing zoom is giving you those summarization points read.ai but how do you use that that that's just a input you need to use those inputs coming in from those sources and make sure that you you use it in your end to end journey of work so this is not these are not futuristic ideas these are agents that exist today and many of these are available on marketplace gignati.com where you can download and use them instantly so there are many places where you can also find these things but you know the point is that why are these agents such a big deal like what exactly they're changing the way work is done so we need to understand the aspect that how a digital teammate is changing the whole paradigm is is the way how they're helping you in by the side so it's human plus ai element so a lot of freelancers are moving from services manually to creating reusable agent templates these templates can be sold to other people like digital products so you have to get into this thing that you know there's a way of working that's changing so companies are beginning to hire agents instead of hiring extra people agents work 24 by 7 they don't take breaks everybody understand and you can customize them easily and definitely an open source ecosystem around ai agent is growing very fast talk about langchain crew ai nn autogen these are giving developers powerful ways to build custom agents so so you are actually making the whole game go very very strong because the community is adopting it and and for those who don't want to code there are no code platforms i i top of my mind i think of a super agent i think of a cognosis that make it easy to create and deploy your own agents in just few clicks so if you are a kind of a early guy or you you want to do something these are something very simple to do kind of a things but definitely this shift means you can now build an agent once and let it earn for you continuously it's it's a build once and earn forever kind of a model but definitely you have to keep on pivoting those things so what tools do you need to start building now, now here we come to the the next part of the conversation that okay whatever tools that we have shared the structure we have shared so we we start with let's say if you're a beginner or a non technical person you you want to start with a no code kind of a environment you don't want something any time is one of my favorite it's a drag and drop interface where you technically require a zero coding knowledge so you have you have nodes where you do this connection bridge and if you're a developer or you want a more control you can use tools like crew ai langchain um, these these tools let you design the agentic decision making uh, kind of a thing and a learning behavior so you use you know something more deeper in in these things and when you want to host these things there are platforms like replit versel or you can directly publish to platform marketplaces like gignati to start earning because objective is that you've built something so you want to actually take it to your end customer take feedback you test your agents you can use browser based sandboxes command line tools you you can do a lot of th- things to actually take how you your final finished agent looks like how are they thinking how are they acting so that will only be tested when you'll actually have 
the real uh, world experience from the customers and now let's say you ready to build your first agent now assuming that i have now got it okay fundamentally i know what these things so what is the next step so so i always have believed that everything works in, in a more roadmap or a framework style so i've created a simple five step roadmap so this is something which will help you out in in structuring your whole uh, journey so step 1 is that you pick up a use case think of a task that wastes your time but but it has follows a clear pattern maybe it's a email outreach or appointment scheduling so so think about a use case step 2 is that you write the agent's persona and the goal so you give it a name give it a give it a clear mission tell tell that okay i'm hiring you you are my outreach agent and and i'm giving you this job so so there is a persona that comes in the step 2 step 3 is you add tools and memories so i told you in the early beginning connected to apps that needs and decided what it should remember so when you actually go into deep dive you'll understand that step 3 is more of a drag drop thing the step 4 is where you test and refine you run a real life scenario and you tweak the agent's behavior until it works so so basically you have to make sure that whatever you're delivering you have, you're testing it you're running it and step 5 is definitely you have to publish it upload it to a marketplace like gignati so that other people can actually buy it and use it there is a configuration setup but yes this this five simple step is something that will help you create a working ai agent that will work for you so so what do you want to do now next i actually this is more of a easy going fundamental kind of a thing so i'm i'm actually trying to tell you that these are simple steps that you should follow so i would say that next step is that before jumping in deep download some free agent templates i i'm going to share some of the links uh, along with this thing where you can actually practice this will give you a head start and show you how real agents are structured So for this I would strongly appeal that join the Gignati AI Academy and the newsletter to stay updated on the new builds and tools and tutorials that we are building and uh, our YouTube channel is definitely the must to have subscribe kind of a thing and uh, in the next video we would actually step in and we will talk about how we built cold email agent in just 15 minutes step by step and if you're ready to turn your ideas into income start building and publishing your own agents on gignati today you know before we wrap up let me give you a quick glimpses of what's possible inside gignati's ecosystem these are these are some of the things that will give you a definite hand holding into the agentic journey and gignati is just not a marketplace it's a full platform where builders can earn passive income by creating and sharing the agent so you build it once and and it's it's about innovation i always say that you know it's not a coders uh, uh, ecosystem uh, any more it's more of a builder or innovator system the top builders are already earning from agents that they have created uh and now they're selling to dozens or even hundreds of other users which are using it so this is something which which i want all of you to understand that with this fundamental course about how agents and ai agents can be created and used uh, if you're really serious about the future of the work this is your chance to be an early adopter and build something meaningful you have to solve the problems and i must put a caveat that you know not everything falls under the agentic uh, you know consideration i want to know your feedback so i would say that drop a comment or tell us what kind of agent you would like us to build because we are doing this thing and there is a you know you know i would like to just give back to community so this is this more of a fundamental course is about you know to give back so if and and here's a surprise for you if you comment within 48 hours you know we will send you a free premium agent template to get started and uh, let's build the future together one ai agent at a time i always say have you ever wished for an assistant that does just that doesn't just tell you what to do but actually does the work for you so so this is something which will be my uh, kind of a uh, i would say an approach that uh, think about your use cases think about you know stuff that you want to solve problems have to be realistic because you're not dealing only with the you know the competition from market you're dealing with lot of other things and if if you're thinking about 
using AI, uh, you know, you have to be very, very clear that, that you know, without AI, it's, it's not the way forward. And AI agents are something which are very important for you. So I would say that I hope in this video you've enjoyed how AI agents and, and the fundamental of AI agents work. And I would really love to have more and more inputs from you. So let's begin with, you know, your starting journey. So log on to gignati.com and I would see you on the other side. Thank you.